And today we have guest Manakshi Sharma, who is the host of a Ruckus Avenue radio show called, damn it, I can't get this fucking right. This is why this isn't live. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I <keep> these, girl. <laughs> A moment with Menakshi. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We got this. We got this. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kicking It with Mama Jotes. I'm here drinking a social and living my best life. And today I have guest Menakshi Sharma on my show, who is a host of her own show on Ruckus Avenue Radio called A Moment with Menakshi. We have an episode actually coming out on your show. Yeah, it's going to be airing very soon, and I'm super, super excited for it. So you have an Instagram account, Mama Untold Thoughts. Tell us a little bit more about, like, your page. Like, what do we see there? I love to keep it, like, lighthearted and fun, and, you know, I try and touch on, like, some serious shit from time to time, (laughs) because let's be real, like, there is always, like, us parents play multiple different roles, um, so I think it's always to talk about like the real shit the funny shit and then just like just us too as like human beings like yes we're moms but we're also people at the end of the day right right and I think people really forget that we're human right like I think we forget that we're human (laughs) we (laughs) We think we're super people we honestly do and so when I started my platform I actually started blogging in 2016 that's how this all kind of like came about and I was just so blown away to see so many other phenomenal like South Asian mamas doing amazing things and I just love this community that's been created on social media like I just love it like it's just so heartwarming to see like moms connecting Uh, it's been really awesome I mean I think I've met like a fair share of like amazing women but lately I've been getting like all these like trolls coming at me what's up with that (laughs) (laughs) I feel like something's in the air and um it's not about us they're projecting you have to come back with love compassion and care uh yeah I feel you behave the way that you would want your your kids to see you behave um just let them be let them be they have things to say they want to say things let them do it let them say it at the end of the day, like I, I always tell myself and I like to tell others that like, just remember who you are at your core. And as long as you know who you are at your core, that's all that matters. So how old are your kids? I have a three and a half year old and an eight month old. I feel so bad for my eight month old because like she's been in isolation for literally her whole life because of COVID. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like I missed out on, you know, taking her places. Like stop at the Starbucks to the, the drive through <laughs> pick up a coffee, or, like go and like go to play dates and see other moms. So definitely yeah. missing out on that experience this time around. Okay. So what I really want to know is like, you just had a baby. Let's talk about the postpartum experience when you're desi. I was just so blown away with like, even my mom being like, eat this, do this. Have you done that? Did you do this? And I'm just like, <laughs> she's like, beta you have to drink milk so that your body produces milk <laughs> so that you have enough milk to feed your child. And I was right. like, what? Like, where is this coming from? Get this theory from? Like, I have no idea where this theory is coming from. So she would make me this thing called, oh my God, I don't even know if I'm going to remember how, what it's called. Bungiri? Um, Bungiri, yes. <laughs> That's the shit. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating, like, sawdust. Not that I've ever eaten sawdust. You feel like... <laughs> <laughs> that shit it works it, it, it I wanted to work. bottle it and sell it well for me it was like I remember my sister-in-law when she was pregnant like this auntie was like baby eat a little ghee, ghee eat some ghee baby will slide out yeah. like eat the ghee <laughs> baby. I was slide like do you mean to like surround the ghee in my vag <laughs> or one of the things I didn't expect every time my child cried my boobs would squirt milk would you like because I heard this is this happened it never happened to me but I heard it, it happens where like women too like when they go out in public and they hear another child crying that like the minute they'd cry I would let down milk and it would squirt out <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> like, if he starts crying I had to like grab him and like latch him right yeah. away <laughs> don't waste it get out I know have you ever cried over spilt milk? Oh my it's god! It's like literal tears. Like I get cry thinking about it right now. It happened once where, um, yeah, I think it was like probably like two, three o'clock in the morning. I went down to like attempt to put the milk in the fridge, and then of course something happened, and it just like all over the all floor. Over. I was 
I was like, I, I just broke Wait, down. Did your husband understand why you were crying over spilled milk? I don't think so. I don't think, no, yeah, I, I don't think so. And it's really funny because I, I say funny now, but at that time, after you I remember birth, at that time throwing plates at him, <laughs> now it's funny. I was so convinced that my newborn had diarrhea because I didn't know that newborn poop was that fucking liquidy and, <laughs> and so like, like gooey. And like, I was convinced. I was like, she has diarrhea. There's something wrong with her. We have to take her to the doctor. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing with you because it's no, like so common. I, so she has a poop explosion and I go to the nurse and I take the diaper with me and I go to the nurse and I'm like, look, I know this is really random, but I just want to know, can you check her poop and tell me if it's like normal? Was, I yeah. fed Krish bananas for the first time, but he ended up, oh, sorry, that wasn't me. That was the chair, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been me, I don't know. <laughs> um, so he pooped and I thought he had worms. It's like all the strings of the bananas come out black. Yeah. And I was like, I took a picture and sent it to my sister-in-law, who's a nurse, and I was like, oh my god, Krish has worms. This is this what <laughs> banana poop looks like? No one tells you this shit, though. Like, no pun intended. Oh. We should, like, title this poop diary. Well, it's crazy how, how much we can, like, go on about poop. R literally, like, this could be a we whole We literally talk around. about poop. We just talk <laughs> about poop all night. Yeah. I feel like my kids are, like, really weird. Like, they do really weird things where, like, they'll random like, like, my son would literally randomly stop at the window. Like, he'll be walking by the window and, like, stop and just look at it and be like, Ugh, and then, like, lick it and then, like, walk next to it. Because I'm just like, is he okay? Like, is he, like, does he need to sleep more? Or, like, yeah. just what I mean. Like, does he need to eat something different? Does he have a deficiency on a vegetable? <laughs> like, what's going on? My, like, three-and-a-half-year-old, like, she, like, she's... 90% of the time, she's just like, you know, she's attentive, she listens, she like, you know, she understands rules or whatever. She just loves pushing the buttons. And she only does it with me, I notice. She doesn't do it with my husband. I don't know if you see this with your kids too, but like, I find with like, us moms, they tend to just really like, give us the best of the best. And it's like, it's oh my sucks. God. It's Did sucks. your husband notice it too? My husband notices it too. He goes, why are they so extra with you? <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. They're, and then my husband's like, well, it's because like you don't talk to them the way that I talk. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, they latched to my tent. They were on my titties <laughs> for a while. So they exactly. think they could take advantage of me. It's they're like, at that age. They're at that age. They are at that age. I'm starting to to not do this because I do this a lot, but um, there's a lot of starting that we should name that too. Like starting to figure this shit out that didn't absolutely. have a manual and no one told us good information. <laughs> no one told us anything. I am guilty of comparing my children a lot where I compare like, cause at my eight month old, I'm like, Oh my gosh, she's not even doing some of the things that like my three and a half year old was doing at eight months old. Um, and then, them both being girls I'm also guilty of doing it a bit more where I start comparing the two I'm training myself to stop doing that yeah, like you otherwise will ruin them. I will <laughs> I literally <laughs> and I don't want to do that I, I think I grew up with a lot of that like and I, I know I did people, why can't you do what he's doing and I'm like so I guess that's just like some of the like old school mentality that I'm trying to not Project. Right. I think this generation of moms we're doing so much better because like we should all this we should also call this episode shit you shouldn't do so your yeah. children aren't fucked up. Yeah. You know, we're better about colorism. I think that's one thing that at this generation we're aware of colorism. We know that darker and lighter don't make a difference. It's not like yeah. lighter is better. We learned to stop using the word fair. And it was like always comparable to like you're too dark to find a husband. Yes, it was like, all the time. always like that. All the time. I always felt like I was like paving the way for my brother. I had to fight to like take the car out. I had to fight to like stay out past like one o'clock in the morning or whatever the case was. Yeah. But then the second my brother hit those, that, you know, those prime years, it was just like free for all. It was like, yeah, yeah, he's out. He shows up at two, three o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I used to like, I used to not use my brother, but I used to be like, um, like if we were going to like a party or whatever, I'd always tell my mom like, oh yeah, but like, you know, my brother, like 
bro's gonna be there or whatever so like you know it's all fine we'll all be together right so Don't worry, we're all together so we're, we're cool we're all up to no good we're really up to no good oh my god this shit that yeah it's we gonna bite us in the that. ass so hard when our <sighs> girls and our boys and our kids or whatever are going to get into their teenage years and I think you and I resonate when we were we could say that we were bad teenagers in the eyes yeah. of our parents that shit they don't know which yeah. is fine and they shall never know oh. um oh. I think it's gonna bite us in the ass oh yeah oh 100 percent. okay I have to ask this mom just but like I I always like I always put on um an act an act of not being drunk when I would get home at like two three o'clock in the morning because I knew my mother bless her soul she would still be waiting up for for me trying to call me and of course like we play that oops I didn't have my phone on me like line or whatever yeah. and then like there were a couple of instances where I'd open the door at three o'clock in the morning and she would be sitting at the stairs and I'm like Piss strong, <laughs> and you just have to put on that. Like, hey, mom. <laughs> hey, like that. yeah, mom. I d- I'm just gonna get my laundry, <laughs> and she's just looking at me like we're tired. I'm just I'm gonna go to bed. We'll talk in the morning. Like we'll just talk in the morning. Like that was always the thing. I know it's gonna bite us in the ass for sure. Like you said, I know it's going to happen. This was fun. Mm-hmm. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for being on the show. It was awesome having you. Love everything about you, Mama Jokes, and your platform. I love how you're just, you know, keeping it real, and you're keeping it fun, and you're just doing your thing. So keep doing it. Signing out. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Who is it? Ryan Seacrest. Seacrest out. Be like, canned out. Yeah.